Hello, and welcome to the next sort of bit of a trip out. And uh, we made it down here to Hunstanton. And uh, it's a bit of a treat down here. Beautiful red cliffs that you can see there. But sunset is looking like it's going to be pretty cool as well. So we can really, really uh, hope for the best tonight, I think. But our job we've got to do is somehow get over there, around the corner a little bit, where these rocks start coming out from underneath the water. So uh, I'm not going to get too close to the edge of the cliffs because they are uh, slowly crumbling and coming down every now and then. But I've got the welly boots on, so we can just walk, stick to the water's edge and get to where we need to be. So I'll catch you in a few minutes. Well, I've made it to uh, up to where the shipwreck is and I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a little black square sort of structure just sticking out of the water just there, about 10, 15 foot further out from where the rocks are. And yeah, that's where the old trawler wreck is there. Just make out some more of the rocks here as well. Wanted to get down here nice and early, about an hour and a half after high tide, I think from memory. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get right out there, get some shooting done as well. Best thing though, look at those clouds up there, slowly making their way out there. Still got an hour and a bit yet before sunset, so a bit of luck, they're getting to be moved out there. It's gonna give the whole image a real nice dynamic on there. Beautiful sand, rocks, and the sky could go as well. I came here three years ago, I think it was now, and beautiful, like, golden sky, but there was nothing in the sky whatsoever. But the rocks here made the photos, so hoping to get a bit of an improvement on today. Bit of luck, we can, uh, yeah, see what we can do. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get myself set up. I might shoot a little bit of video as well of the water moving around the rocks. A bit of the sounds as well. It can be really, really nice. So, yeah, just going to have a little mess around. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you next to me when that boat is a bit more uh, uncovered. Uh, just waiting for the tide to push out a little bit more. Just be shooting up this way here. It's got these really nice clouds just forming up there against the cliffs. You get a nice contrast with the reds against the blue pretty much sort of opposite side of the colour wheel. So yeah, really, really nice. But I am going to just move up, just the other side of the boat there, 20, 30 foot up that way there, and uh, shoot back down this way with the water coming in between all the rocks. I think that's going to work really, really nice that way there. And uh, yeah, see what we get. But uh, I'd say it's real nice soft light here at the moment. It's been held right off right at the way out there. Not much I can do about that though. It's, uh, that's just the way it goes. But yeah, it's really chilled out here actually. Just hear the water just running there over the boat. Really, really nice, beautiful sound you get on that. So yeah, so I'm just gonna get some more of these greens just coming up on the up from there. Shoot back down this way here, like I just said, and see if we can get the length of this trawler here, which is the ruin itself. And uh, yeah, it's definitely seen a few better days, but I said it's always good just to get down in, have a little play around. So yeah, get a few more uh, photos done, see how it goes. Well, I'm just uh, perched up on this little rock here. Camera seems to be wedged up quite nicely on the tripod and uh, shooting down up the trolley. You can probably see it a little bit better now. Um, so it's running straight down there towards, hey, uh, down towards Hansanton. Uh, with that, I am able to uh, say, I'm just trying now a 60 second exposure. We've got quite a lot of cloud just breaking up in the distance, up in there, up in the sky. Uh, got some blues coming through, so there's quite a lot of movement going on within that. I'm hoping I'm going to get a fair bit of movement within the shot. So I've dropped in a hard grad, got the two-stop hard grad on there, ten-stop um, ND as well. And with that, we're just going to shoot straight through here, 60 second exposure. It's going to smooth out the water. The water's not really doing a lot anyway. It's quite smooth here. Uh, you can hear the waves just sort of like just lapping at the rocks. It's very, very calm. So we're not going to be getting much movement in the water, so we might as well just go and smooth it all the way out. That's my thoughts for this shot anyway. Uh, from here though, I think what I'm going to do is just mess around a little bit more, see what I can get image-wise, sort of dotting around as well. But what I'm waiting for is those rocks out there as well. That bank of cloud right out there in the distance, that I think is going to play okay for a bit of, scholar, a bit of colour 
in with the actual uh, sun, in with the sunset tonight as well. And if those rocks have revealed themselves enough, which are just over there in the distance, two minute walk back down that way towards the van, we should be okay then to uh, get something shooting straight to see for a bit of texture in the sky as well. That's my aim for tonight. If I get that, I'm gonna be pretty happy anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, see what else I can get around here, take it from there. Well, just trying for another uh, funky little shot here. Going straight down the trawler, really, really, really close into it. I'm taking a bit of risk here. The tripod's got the potential for moving here, though. Uh, the waves are sort of lapping up at it. I have pushed it down as hard as I can, though, into the sand, so it sinks down. Hopefully, it's not going to move. The light is absolutely beautiful out there now, and hopefully, I'm going to get some of that movement in there. I am, as soon as I finish shooting here, I'm going to whip out the 10-stop filter. Stick it in the six stop, just get some of this movement around here as well. Keep the, keep the cloud texture as it is so we get all the golden sky in there as well. With that, I think I'm going to end up with two very varying photos. Both should work really, really nice. So now with the noise reductions, quickly get your filters set up because that light's going to change so quickly and don't want to miss this. I think I've bagged what I wanted to from there. Really, really nice shot there. And uh, the light is just beautiful on the far end as well, right up in the sky there. Uh, real, some real nice golden colors. So nailed the one shot. Now moving a bit further back down where we came from and see if I'm shooting off these rocks now. Get some beautiful symmetry, get some nice lines running right through them as well. And uh, yeah, oh, it's such a nice little spot here. I actually wrote a blog about this not too long ago and uh, it's one of my favourite spots to come to. I don't come here very often but you know it's never going to disappoint when you do. So I'm going to get myself set up in the composition and uh, see what we can get now. I say, look at that light out there. Ain't that beautiful. It's, uh, yeah, oh, I needed this today really to be honest. It's uh, been a long few weeks and it's always nice to get out when you get something like this. Well, this is just absolutely beautiful. I think this is why I like coming out every now and then. The sky is just like a fireball out there in the distance. I'm shooting a few varying uh, exposures here, so just on a 15 second here to keep the cloud texture as it is. I am going to try, uh, just push the ISO up just a little bit as well. So I want to just be able to drop down shutter speed i don't want to get too much shared sort of movement within the clouds themselves because there are some tiny little clouds where you've got the, the fringes of them are just ignited by the sunlight which is dropping in behind the clouds that bank cloud right off in the distance there if we shoot too long in exposure we are just going to lose that and uh but i am going to go on the flip side i am also going to just uh, run off a much longer exposure a minute maybe even two minutes see what we get with that as well oh really really liking that image there uh, I've got the reverse grad in as well, which is this is this is the day where reverse grads are designed for. Beautiful, really bright bit of light right out in the distance. Light, uh, slightly darker sky, darker foreground. Band of light going across, band of filter going across the middle. Jobs are good in, and we can just shoot like that. So I'm going to stop talking now because I want to get some shoot before I miss everything. So catch you in a bit. Well, finally got myself into a nice little spot. Just trying to avoid this bit of sun here, but it is, the sun is just illuminating these clouds. Just look out there now. Absolutely beautiful. So, uh, got the reverse grad in there still. Now got the six stop ND in as well. Shooting, sort of running off 45 degrees to the sun. Trying to just keep it out of the frame a little bit, but I'm being really careful. I'm just not wanting these, uh, 
actual sort of lumps of mud, clay, rock, whatever they are, to uh, be sort of coming half in, half out the frame. So my left hand side and the right hand side of the frame are both clear of that as well. And shooting off a 15 second exposure at the moment. And I think as soon as that sun drops down, it's going to be absolutely perfect. I hope it's just going to illuminate the sky. So I give it another two or three minutes, composition set up as well. And this is just running right the way through the shot, just how I want it. So uh, pretty happy with this one here. And uh, yeah, I think we've backed ourselves a winner for tonight. Well, uh, so sun has now dropped down below the horizon and I've shot myself, uh, I think that's a 15 or a 20 second exposure. Now just gone for the whole one minute as well. And to just close up the aperture, drop the ISO down a little bit. But uh, so yeah, doing quite well here. I'm gonna quickly whip out the reverse grad, get the hard grad in there as well, just to finish off that horizon really nicely, see what we can get. And just, just in case we've uh, missed anything from the image as well, but it should be good to go from that, I think. So uh, it's just finishing the noise reduction now, so I'm going to start swapping the filters over and uh, see what happens. Well, one last photo, I guess, isn't it? It's uh, <laughs> got to be done. So I've just pushed out the last of the rocks now and you see now you do have to keep uh, chasing the rocks out here so you're constantly looking for a composition around here as well so you have to be quick on your toes you have to be uh, thinking a little bit ahead of the game here where's how far is the tide going to go out and all those sort of bits and pieces i've got 15 20 minutes of decent light for sunset you can see now it's uh, fizzling out quite a bit now as well so you are constantly moving out as well so composition does change which means you do get more photos if you manage to nail them quick enough as well but uh, I say, yeah, the tide has gone out a fair bit there. But uh, yeah, so it's been quite a nice evening, really. So I've been at, uh, as I said, Hans Stanton and uh, had a mixture of uh, shots I got here as well, definitely. Got a few varying uh, soft grads and uh, hard grads, reverse grads, 10 stops, 6 stops. So it's been a real nice mixed bag of shots from today's session. And uh, yeah, so it's been really, really enjoyable. And so, as always, if you've uh, enjoyed what you've seen today, say hit that subscribe button please uh, it allows me well it just makes it fun for what i do really and it does allow eventually hopefully one day to make us into something these adventures i go on and as always please 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 hit the share button send it around share the the love of hun stanton and the rocks here as well and so until the uh, next time i manage to get out and about take care and all the best